Vaughan Oliver, as 23 Envelope, art director for 4AD, has been working with the label for all but six months of their 10-year history. His artwork helped establish 4AD's identity and individuality from early days. Rarely content with the usual band pictures on sleeves, his work encompasses a surprising breadth and inventedness. And in recognition of that, an exhibition of his work has been staged in Nantes, France. Um, I mean, often asked about, well, is it art, basically? And I think I've tried to deal with that at the, the opening of the exhibition, I mean, the entrance to it. So you see the street posters, and um, to sort of illustrate or exaggerate the two perceptions of it, the street, and then you see the blank wall, or the, the, um, the bright white wall with the Baroque frames and the corny little, you know, bright images. It's exaggerating the preciousness of it. So I've dealt with that initially, and then um, the rest of it's sort of dealing with different areas, different bands. It's really trying to develop um, ideas that are already in the sleeves and put them in a three-dimensional context um, and to create in one space very different atmospheres and very different sort of feelings with the textures and the colours. A lot of the work, I think, tends to be quite chaotic in terms of colour or um, lines and in the design and I wanted a, a, a sort of a constant that you could keep coming back to that gave it, you know, quite literally something to sort of hang on the black and the white. Most of it comes from working with the, with the groups, really, from the music. Um, and obviously from things outside of it, like cinema and literature, but essentially from the, from the groups, it's, it's important. story with the sleeve and actually just show what the musicians are looking like and it's their preferences too. I mean the only I think there's only two or three occasions that the band have appeared on the sleeve and that, that I had to force that on them that was ex Deutschland but um, I think they're, they're much keener on actually reflecting the music rather than themselves as personalities. It's it just developed gradually I mean there was no kind of manifesto if you like um, and if there's, a, I mean, I understand there is a label identity now, but it's been a very organic development. You know, just sleeve by sleeve, it's inevitable. It's coming from one desk most of the time. Um, and I think sometimes the label identity gets in the way. Um, it comes in, in front of the, the band's identity sometimes. I'm well, well aware of that, but certainly not the intention. You know. I think it's, it becomes more sophisticated, I think, o over the years. Um, and that's something I'd like to lose at times as well, and just, uh, you know, use your left hand instead of using your right hand and stop, stop thinking about it. You know, it's, it's difficult to try and uh, keep the spontaneity in it, I think. got to sort of focus in and try and make everything work anyway. I think it's nice to keep coming back to that as a constant, the fact that it has to be a 12 inch square at the end of the day. It gives you a starting point, because other, otherwise it is such a, a wide open brief. And that's, again, that's half the attraction of, of working in graphic design or commercial art, because it's not one idea at the end of the day, and I'd rather, I'd much rather the idea was presented and printed 100,000 times in 100,000 homes than collecting dust on a gallery wall. I'm not sure of the relevance of putting it back into, into a gallery space again. <laughs>